Hey guys, it's Olivia, and welcome back to another episode of LA Made. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, so this is a show where I try out stereotypical LA trends and take you guys along with me. Let's go! Today I'm here with my friend Hunter March. Best and friend. <laughs> star Star, best friend Hunter March, and we are at a celebrity psychic's home to get our fortune told. A lot of celebrities get their fortune told to them because apparently it keeps them centered and grounded and just like, you know, they know what to expect in their life because that's super LA. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Come on. I'm really nervous, but I kind of just want to like get started. I'm a little nervous. I'm too. already anxious, so I feel like we should just go for it. Just not. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Yes, Hi. nice to meet you. She knew. Nice to meet you. Psychic. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'll tell you when I'm psychic. Oh, so I we, knew you were coming. We called ahead. Yeah. yeah we yeah. planned this a little bit. Okay. We're really excited though. I'm and excited nervous. to show you the cards. It's I think we fun. should just go for it. All right, okay. let's do let's it. Go. Come on in. This house, like the vibes and like the little pieces she has everywhere. And it looked like really spiritual. It's nothing like I've ever like been to before, so it was definitely like super interesting. So are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with Hunter, right? No. So what we're gonna do is, I had you shuffle these cards a little bit, and Did. then we're gonna pull some of these that we turn over later. I'm gonna just spill out some stuff. Sometimes it tells me, make sure to ask him about these things. Sometimes it gives me something really important going on in your life. And then from there, I'm gonna let you guys direct questions. This is Betty White. She's a helper. <laughs> hey, Betty White. She's psychic too. <laughs> wow. So um, we're gonna start, like I said, and I'm gonna have you pull three of these with your left hand and put them face down. You wanna know about my career? Everything's in flux a little bit right now. Lots going on. I wanna know what's gonna pan out and what's not. The next thing is um, you're gonna pull 10 of these. This is all the work you have to do. After that, you're done. So 10 of these. Place that down. one was a three-er. I couldn't, Ooh, I couldn't have pulled that you. any better. Ooh. Oof. Okay, this is exciting. All right, so what the cards wanna talk about, like it's sort of the top of the pyramid, this is like the biggest thing he needs to know, and then we're gonna tell him all these details, is that this is when you think you've waited long enough, wait some more. So the whole reading's kind of like patience, but this is what's coming for you. <laughs> and it's showing me, perhaps in partnership and in career for you, see how the guy's going like this, he's like juggling, and it feels like there's a lot of like, uncertainty, like what, where exactly am I directing my career? And then this future card, see how she's upside down? It's like, oh, you have no idea what's coming, but it feels of a, in a really good way. Because when the star card comes up in here, it's really good for you. It means like a lot of attention on you, like a lot of actors and actresses I read will pull the star card, but when it's upside down, it's telling me, not this year. It's like, what's, but it, what's happening this year? You're still small now, but you're gonna be big, right? Is, is how this reads. I have a really big project happening that I spent like all year on. Cool. And so there hasn't been like a lot of, like I haven't seen the, the fruit of that project yet. So you've yet. been waiting for I've it? I've been like waiting. Like said, when's your birthday? April 5th. Oh my God, it makes so much sense. Wait, this is crazy. Okay, so in numerology, you're in a nine year, and in a nine year, you're like ready for the like, you're ready for the next phase of your life. You're ready for like something new, something big, but it won't happen in a nine year. And 2017 is your one year, which is all about new beginnings, which would be this like, and that's where I was saying to you, oh, you have no idea what's coming because it's part of this new beginning for you. There wasn't anything that she said that seemed false or seemed fake or that she could have even known about my career. That's pretty crazy. That okay. is weird. So let me I even told you just a little bit about my like career like 30 minutes ago yeah. and this falls very much in line yeah, with that. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Now is your turn. I'm really excited. Okay. Is that shuffled enough? Yeah, you feel good about it. Okay, so now with your left hand, you're gonna pull three of these. I'm hoping to learn a little bit about my relationship just because a lot has been happening in like the past couple months, so hopefully she can tell me a little bit about that and where it stands and what I should be doing about it. And then I want to like hear a little bit more about YouTube and my career and like where that's gonna take me. I'm nervous. Wow. Okay. How many am I taking? Ten, Ten cards. With my left hand. Mm -hmm. So this is the card where this is you, okay. and it's showing me when she's upside down. It's like. She's meant to be a leader and an influencer, and we want more attention on her. She's not getting to step into this like leadership role. Clearly, you're 
still a teenager, how old are you? 16. 16. So like, that's okay, like no pressure, but it's kind of like, she's going to be stepping into that in a, in a bigger way in the future. But this almost feels like, don't rush it. And then in terms of relationship, it's showing me, A, I don't want you to worry about relationship, but the, it's showing me a guy, see how you're the queen of wands yeah. and there's the king of wands here. And it's showing me like, it's as if, it's talking about it as if you've been like, you either, broke up or have been thinking about breaking up and it's like you're what not what the hell I can't I actually can't not, this is so weird you're, I not, actually, this is so... you're not allowed to be completely done with it yet because he has a lot going on in his life and <laughs> yeah, you need to so... keep talking things through um, I'm scared oh yeah I just got chills no in a good way in a really good way don't put as much pressure on the relationship but keep talking about it and see if you like because there's, because it reads like he still loves you and like it shows him coming back with like a grand gesture. That's the future card here. How do you feel right now? I'm like sweating. <laughs> still the hair's sort of going scared. up. <laughs> My boyfriend just went to college like a week ago. Oh. Is he going far away? He's in Texas. So we're not like we're talking, but we're not dating. She doesn't think it's over. I mean, any guy who goes to Texas though, do you really want to be in a relationship with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Literally everything she was saying about it was like so true and so real and it like gave me a lot of like insight on like what I should be doing which was cool. I got the chills like all over my body as <laughs> she was telling me because it just felt like super real. She nailed some stuff. That was crazy. I mean when she did mine I thought this is nuts but then she did Olivia's and I was like whoa! She nailed like everything. I don't think that was a coincidence at all. I think that was definitely like spirits or something. I'm like a hardcore believer in this kind of stuff though. Like I really believe in like psychics and like spirits and all that. If I could redo this day just to like hear about my future, I would. It was so incredible. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. And I have to bring like my mom now, my sister. It's so incredible. Thank you so much for having us today. This was so cool. Thank Thanks you. It was amazing. I feel like it was actually pretty crazy because I feel like a lot of it was true. So yeah. I wasn't really expecting that. So thanks, Hunter, for coming along. Hey, thank you. <laughs> it was so much fun. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV down below, and I will see you guys next time on LA Made.